Hi everyone, welcome to Monorail Central. My name is Sean and today we're going to be discussing our recent dining experience at Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure aboard the Disney Wish. Arendelle is one of three rotational dining options aboard the Disney Wish alongside 1923 and Worlds of Marble, themed, of course, to Frozen. This restaurant is a dinner show featuring live music and character appearances from Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Oaken, and Olaf. The idea being that you are celebrating Anna and Kristoff's engagement party. We're going to start things off with the bread service at Arendelle, which was a six grain Viking loaf served with a roasted onion dip. Now this bread was your run of the mill bread, basic, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. It wasn't served warm, which kind of threw me off a little bit, but the roasted onion dip that they served along this bread was really good. We're going to move on to soups and appetizers now. The appetizer that I had was Elsa's Royal Baked Scallops, which wound up being two baked scallops in a crock filled with shrimp tarragon bisque, carrots, and leeks, and it was topped with a layer of puff pastry. The baked scallops was probably one of my favorite dishes that I had within the rotational dining restaurants during our sailing. There's a very sweet shrimp bisque inside. The scallops were cooked perfectly in the puff pastry over top really set this dish apart. It was really, really good. The next appetizer we had was the Jarlsberg cheese and rosemary tart, which is basically like a cheese and meat quiche served with a gala apple and Williams pear compote. I didn't really like this appetizer that much, but with my sailing party, they all seemed to really enjoy it. I thought that it was a little bit dry and a little more eggy than cheesy. The pear and apple compote that they served with it was really good, but this appetizer just wasn't for me. To wrap things up with soups and appetizers, we had Sven's favorite carrot soup, which was carrot soup. It was served with caraway and rye bread, and this was a really good soup. I really enjoyed it. It was a nice sweet carrot. It tasted almost like they had honey in it, and the rye bread was a really great compliment. Overall, soups and appetizers at Arendelle, pretty good. Moving on to entrees, we're going to start things off with, oh god, forgive me for this, the Arendelle Kjort Cake. I don't know. This dish was essentially just Swedish meatballs and egg noodles served with a rosemary cream sauce and a lingonberry jam. Now this is where things kind of started to taper off a little bit. The meatballs that were served in this dish were very dry and they didn't really have a meatball texture to them. And then egg noodles that they served with it, they were really undercooked. So I had some crunchy pasta there. I did mention this to my server and they did bring me another one, but it was the same thing. Dry meatballs, undercooked pasta. The rosemary cream sauce that they served with this, fantastic. Out of this world. I really enjoyed it. That was the star of this dish. As for the lingonberry jam, we didn't really get any. So I couldn't really tell you how it fit with the rest of the dish. But the Arendelle Kyoke Cake, it was okay. The rosemary cream sauce was the best part of the dish. The second entree we had at Arendelle was the garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye. Garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye was served with a double baked potato, buttered broccoli, honey roasted carrots, and a cabernet jus. When it came out, it was a prime rib. It, it wasn't really a ribeye steak. This was not great. The meat was very bland. It didn't really have any seasoning on it. The cabernet jus that they served with it, again, didn't really add much flavor. The double baked potato that they had with it was very dry. It was a potato. It didn't really have much flavor in it. It was dry. It kind of fell apart in your mouth, almost like you were eating instant mashed potatoes and you forgot to add the water. Buttered broccoli and carrots, they're vegetables. They're there. All in all, this was a very disappointing dish. And the last entree we had at Arendelle was the juniper spice roasted chicken breast, which was served with duck confit, double fried potatoes, and a wild mushroom ragu. Again, another disappointing entree from Arendelle. The chicken tasted like straight up salt. It was a little bit dry. It didn't really taste much like chicken. The potatoes that came with it, they said they were fried in duck fat. I couldn't tell. They tasted like bland French fries to me. The wild mushroom ragu on this plate was actually very good. That was probably my favorite part of the entire chicken dish. All in all, entrees at Arendelle were not great. The highlight of our entrees at Arendelle was, of course, that rosemary cream sauce that was served with the Swedish meatballs and noodles. Moving on to the desserts at Arendelle, we tried three different dessert options. The first of which being, forgive me again, the apple cake. I'm going to go with apple cake. This was an apple tart topped with caramel sauce and a Florentine almond crisp. And it was served with a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream on the side. This was okay. It was like an um, apple tartlet. I don't really like almonds. So the almond Florentine thing, I didn't really try. The vanilla bean ice cream that they served with it was just your typical Edie's 
vanilla bean ice cream. It was okay. Nothing to write home about. The second dessert item we tried was the Troll Family's Rock Chocolate Bar, which is a flourless chocolate cake topped with pistachio cookie rocks and a hibiscus meringue. Now on the menu, it didn't mention that this was a flourless chocolate cake. So when we got it and it was flourless, it kind of threw us off a little bit. Very rich chocolatey flavor. I did enjoy this one. The pistachio rocks were an interesting choice. They didn't really taste like pistachio. They didn't really taste like rocks. rocks. The final dessert we tried was the It's Elsa's Coronation Sundae, which was a mint chocolate chip ice cream sundae topped with marshmallows and snowflake sprinkles. This was mint chocolate chip ice cream with marshmallows and sprinkles. You could really get it at any ice cream shop in your hometown. It was good. I'm pretty sure they serve Edie's ice cream on board and I can get Edie's ice cream at the grocery store along with snowflake sprinkles and marshmallows. So desserts and Arendelle, again, nothing to write home about. They're just your standard one of the mill desserts. So let's talk about the environment at Arendelle. This was the loudest restaurant I have ever eaten at. The space didn't really seem like it was designed to house a dinner show. So with the speakers all over, there's no sound deadening. And then everything that's coming off the stage through the microphones, it just was amplified all across the room. So you really couldn't hear our servers. We couldn't hear the conversations from that we were having across the table. However, the show was a really cute show. All the actors and the entertainment and the singers, they did a phenomenal job. So that's our review of Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure aboard the Disney Wish. This was kind of disappointing. The appetizers really stole the show here in Arendelle. The baked scallops, again, I have to say, one of the better things I've had across my entire rotational dining experience. We ate at Arendelle on night one of our three night sailing. So we were really looking forward to trying the other two restaurants. If you like this video and would like to see more about the rotational dining offerings aboard the Disney Wish, please be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Monorail Central for more Walt Disney World, Disney Cruise Line, and Walt Disney World Monorail Project content. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you all real soon.